Morning Church, welcome to our daily devotion insight. Today I want to share with you on wise people avoid arguments. Wise people avoid argument. You know, we, we talk about cooperation, you know, these three months and uh, when we work together, when we are together, they're bound to be shoulder rubbing, shoulder disagreement and so on and so forth. All right, I want to talk about this. Wise people avoid arguments. Proverbs 20 verse 3 says, from the Good News Translation. Any fool can start arguments. The honourable things is to stay out of them. Any fool can start arguments. The honourable thing is to stay out of them. That's wisdom. Do you get offended easily? Are you always looking for a fight? Does your defence mechanism kick in during every other conversation. I do sometimes, especially with my wife, I do, or she with me. We, I always apologize, you know, when that happened. I learn to apologize. The Bible says that if you are wise, if we are wise, you and I won't antagonize, antagonize someone's anger. James 3.17, I shared the last devotion, this real wisdom, God's wisdom, begins with the holy life and is characterized by getting along with others from the Message Bible. Wise people work at maintaining peace and harmony. Are you wise? Are you a wise person? Wise people work at maintaining peace and harmony. They are not carrying a chip on their shoulder and say, I'm somebody, I'm better than you. They don't take offense easily and they don't say or do things that they know will stir other people's anger. You know, in the Good News translation in Proverbs 20 verse 3, it says this, a fool, any fool can start argument, but the honorable thing to do is to stay out of them. Being wise in your relationship means avoiding arguments. Learn to avoid arguments, then you're a wise man. There is a long list of things that cause arguments. Here are three specific things you can avoid and remember. As you try to honor people, build friendship with people, learn to live with people, and build more peaceful and loving relationships. One, don't compare. Don't ever compare. Comparing causes arguments because it shows that you are not satisfied and content with what you have and who God has made you to be when you compare. When you are content with your life, it will show in your healthy relationship you can't be bothered what people say. You don't mind even people criticize you. Because you are content, you know who you are. But when you compare, you tend to argue and not happy. Number two, don't condemn, which most of us does. It's no surprise that using condemning statements like, it's all your fault. You should be ashamed of yourself. You shouldn't have done that. You should behave yourself. You shouldn't have said that always leads to argument. Or maybe it comes out in phrases like, you ought to, you shouldn't, you always, you never, you constantly behave like that. You know, using phrases like this and comment like this, uh, like and, and condemning people who puts you and I above them. We always, when we do that to people, we think that we are better. We always think that we are more righteous. We always think that we are far more better. When we always criticize people, we always condemn people, we always judge people. That is not the way of Jesus. Remember this. Number three, don't contradict. Don't contradict. You know, when you're in the middle of an argument, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't focus on the small thing. Don't argue over the small thing. Stop it. If somebody gets a detail wrong, 
just let it go. If somebody says something wrong, just let it go. If somebody just out of the side of the lips, you know, say a wrong word, just let it go. William James, a famous psychologist, said, Wisdom is the art of knowing what to overlook. One more time. Wisdom is the art of knowing what to overlook. If you can learn to let go or let things go, then you will notice how much more peaceful, how much more calm and harmonious your relationships are and will be. Comparison, condemnation, contradiction always lead to arguments. But when you choose instead to show grace, God can transform your relationship with people and with one another and God will bless you. Which of these three, let me ask you as I close, which of these three, compar these three comparison, condemnation, contradictions do you find yourself most often employing in your conversation? And why? Do you know? It kills friendship. It kills conversation. It hurt one another. And at the same time, it kills relationships. And it makes you and I angry and make you and I bitter, and you make you and I distancing one from another. So therefore, my advice to you in this devotion, as we talk about cooperation, working together, serving together, is that choose to avoid arguments. Why? Because that makes you a wise person. That makes all of us wise people. It's not easy, but we can learn to do that. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray the art you help all of us to learn to be wise people. Wise people avoid arguments. We pray, God, you grant us the grace and, and learn to set a guard over our mind, our mouth, our thoughts. Learn to help us to exercise grace, extend kindness in return, and extend mercy. Help us to learn to cultivate the fruit of the Spirit love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Father, we pray to help every one of us to learn to honor you. Bless all of us in our relationship with one another and with you. And most of all, bless the Christian community so that we can grow to become more Christ-like. Bless this day as we commit ourselves to you. Let it be a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, wise people avoid argument. Will you be that wise person? Amen. God bless you and you have a great, great day. Amen.